Pockets going really well. Um, so obviously we had that deload period initially off the back of the scan that he had done on his foot, um, which revealed the, the, the light bone stress. Um, he had an Ultra G run yesterday and we'll plan to run overground tomorrow. He's going in the right direction at the minute, Ben. So as I say, the next couple of weeks is going to be progressing his running loads on ground um, as long as his, his foot responds well to that load. CJ's going really well. So he had that partial tear obviously of his plantar fascia. Was in the moon boot to start off, just to offload that foot um, and it's transitioned to overground running now. So um, he'll have three more running sessions uh, every second day this week. Um, so really good progression for CJ. And then over the next two weeks then, we'll look to, to build his running loads and football function as long as there's no pain um, either during session or after session. So he's making some good strides at the minute, CJ. Yeah, Georgie had his final piece of testing today. So he's, uh, he's taken that final hurdle, um, which is great news for George. All the boys all got around him this morning in the team meeting just with the, the work that he's done over the past eight weeks. And I say he's, um, he's cleared now for playing through the VFL this weekend's game. So he'll play three quarter game time as his first introduction to, to gameplay for the year. So it's really exciting for George. So Tux returned last week through the half of the VFL um, after obviously a, a long layoff with his knee injury and then his calf injury subsequently as he was returning to play a few weeks ago. He had a, an AC joint injury towards the back end of that second quarter of just of a big collision. Um, pretty stiff and sore at the minute. Um, he's been non-contact today during today's first light skill session. We need Darcy to go through full contact um, and be unrestricted with his football movements on Thursday to claim to progress into VFL gameplay. Uh, on the weekend, so he's a test um, pending how he goes on Thursday. Man's going really well, so off of that, that shoulder injury that he had, as I say, five weeks ago now, he's been building up his contact, grappling, wrestling, and full contact in the last few weeks. So he'll look to take off his last session of full training with the main group for availability to play through VFL this week. Nasty injury for X, so high-grade ankle injury, um, syndesmosis injury, so he's uh, got a surgery to repair that today. Uh, very hard to give a, an estimate of timeline. It's, it's, it's generally based off um, the first couple of weeks of recovery, as long as there's no infection on that. But you are looking at a medium to longer term um, rehabilitation for X. So um, he will be out for um, quite some time, but we'll give more definitive answers probably after week three um, when he's in that initial phase of recovery post surgery.